how are you? It is me, somebody, the underconfident human, and I have something special today. This is exciting for me, very, very exciting. Um, we are going to take a tour of uh, something that came in the mail yesterday for me, the Clan of Zymox fan bundle, of which there were theoretically only 500 copies produced, pressed. Um, for those that don't know, the Clan of Zymox is a very, very special and important band for me. I have mentioned in the past um, how important music has been to my survival because I'm a very depressed human, uh, and lots of problems, and uh, you know, rather than get into my story though like you would expect me to start off with I'm actually going to end the video with a quick explanation of um, how important Clan of Zymox is to me and how it's kept me from doing stupid things because of uh, how you know depressed and and stuff I am but anyway so the format of my little presentation today is going to go as such. I'm initially going to pull out and show you what all comes in the fan bundle, plus a little extra bonus that I ordered from the same site at the same time. Um, kind of do a quick view this way. Then I'm going to set my camera up facing down at the table and we'll take a closer detailed look at the stuff that comes in the bundle but um, yeah it was kind of expensive and some of these I've, I've wanted on vinyl for so long and it's um, just very exciting to me to have this and I really need to say thank you to Ronnie Moorings and Clan of Zymox for um, doing what they've done for me over the years I wish I met Ronnie once, and it, um, he signed the back patch on my winter coat, which is this pretty much the same Zymox back patch. And um, you know, they they really have been special and important to me. Um, and I think I mentioned in my previous video that you know Peter Steele typo negative clan of Zymox essential, very very important for. I've been suicidal and once or twice in my life, or at least felt strongly about it, and uh, it's been helpful. Anyway, so um, without further ado, let's get into the uh, get into it. thick bundle of stuff here was shipped in a bigger box twice this size that was filled with a gazillion packing peanuts so it was very well packaged and shipped and in case you're wondering no I did not make any attempt to hide the mic today because I wanted to have a good full view and a good recording of my incredibly nerdy monotone voice. this moment is that I'm able to be here to make 
make this video and that I was able to afford this theoretically this bundle was limited to 500 um, it's one of the few times that social media has been useful for me because I certainly uh, you know I follow clan of Zymox on Instagram and had they not advertised that this bundle existed I would have missed out because it went pretty quickly and um, yeah 500 copies were pressed of these vinyls and uh, so. That just, it's pretty much exactly what the signature that he wrote onto my my coat when he signed my back patch. <laughs> it's exactly what it looks like. Looking at the surface of the this kind of thick matte finish paper, it looks like it was physically signed. It doesn't look like something that was printed. And the back side. says this is to certify that you are now the owner of the vi the vinyl bundle of clan of Zymox hidden faces 12 inch vinyl creatures 2 by 12 inch vinyl subsequent pleasures 2 by 12 inch vinyl notes from the underground 2 by 12 inch vinyl farewell 2 by 12 inch vinyl and breaking point two by 12 inch vinyl. We wish to express our sincere gratitude for your support. And again, we'll take a closer look at all of these things shortly. Also included in the bundle is a Zymox logo turntable slip mat. It's just a standard slip mat. The printing on it, however, very thick. And I'll be honest with you, I was strongly considering sewing this on to something rather than putting it on my, my turntable. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just use it on my turntable. I haven't decided yet. fun story the um, I believe it was the second battle jacket I ever made or third second I think it was my second in my um, early 20s I think I was 20 on the nose in fact but um, I had a public enemy turntable slip mat that was the target you know, the public enemy target logo and I took that slip mat and actually sewed it onto, or I didn't sew it, I uh, safety pinned it onto the back of a, a coat as my back patch. But when I say safety pinned it, I mean I went through more, probably more than a thousand safety pins. Because I put them on the coat vertically instead of horizontally and packed them in side by side. So it became this heavy silver ring of just a thousand safety pins. It was crazy took me weeks. Anyway, though, so. So, first off is breaking point. This is so gorgeous, just holding these with this, uh, this is great, this is so great.
impressed and pretty excited too that uh, a lot of these come with all kinds of bonus remixes and stuff that weren't on the albums now there's some of these songs that I have or have heard um, I have you know CD singles and stuff in my collection of Zymox stuff and, uh, but there's some of these remixes I've never heard so I'm interested for sure to hear those oh man probably my favorite Clan of Zymox album if I had to, had to pick one Notes from the Underground I love this record so much some of these remixes like one of my top favorite Zymox songs is called Innocent and there's a uh, defiled remix by Assemblage 23 I so happen I like Assemblage 23 um, but I have that and some of the uh, Anguish remixed by Front 242 um, these are on the remixes from the underground double CD set this is so sharp just so sharp subsequent pleasures limited edition of 500 copies this version of subsequent pleasures just like the um, one of the CDs I have is basically a collection of the earliest recorded Zymox material when they were, you know, brand spanking new. intended or not is called Waterfront it is from this album and uh, it's definitely one song that touched me I just I felt it how I interpreted the lyrics maybe I had wrong maybe not but anyway Clan of Zymox Creatures this is a great record record is Hidden Faces remember the first time I heard this album with the opener of Out of the Rain those first couple lines I was like what did Ronnie do like this is about to be terrible <laughs> it sounded very poppy and like the lyrics of the beginning were just but then it progresses and then you understand the song but Anyway, this album, though, um, songs like This World, word for word, I absolutely agree with every bit of it. Um, the, at the time, modern remix of Going Round was such a rocking little banger. But yeah. I have both the, um, Tess Records release of this album on CD, and I have the later edition uh, Metropolis Records CD as well. But 2024 limited edition of 500 copies, pressing from Trisol. That's so cool. Now, for some bonuses, when I ordered these. Um, because here in the you know here in the United States you're not too easily going to find any clan of Zymox records it's just not um I've never come across any and anyway when I was on the site to place this order I also ordered the only other to this came as a bundle right I ordered the other two vinyl records that were available on their site So now I have a 
vinyl copy of Days of Black. to also on the back say limited edition of 500 copies and the most recent album the last one that they've re released so far from 2022 Limbo this one has bonus records in it and um some remixes and stuff on board this album I own um, three I own both an original copy like a US Metro uh, Metropolis Records copy and then I also purchased an imported copy um, that has three CDs and has all the remixes and stuff there's like dust on that it's bothering me but anyway Limbo also says strictly limited to 500 copies so I guess if that's the case I'm fortunate to have this too so big stack of Clan of Zymox vinyl and um, you know as important as these guys are to me this is great this is great so without further ado let's flip the camera here and get a more detailed look I'm going to open the records and you'll have to bear with me because I as you might know if you've seen any of my past videos I'm very particular I need my records stored in triple lined poly sleeves not in paper so um, if that's the case we have to deal with that but anyway let's get to it As always, I've got my Snap and Store archival quality non scratching anti static triple lined poly sleeves. These are what I like to protect my vinyls with. And then of course, a whole gang of these things. Just thick outer sleeves to put the record uh, jacket into. So I'll just work backwards through my stack here and we'll start. Assemblage 23 Remix, Big Brother, Clan of Zymox Remix, The Great Reset, DJ FN1 Remix. One thing that's really special about this album is 
a lot of Clan of Cymox albums he's written about, uh, you know, heartache, depression, sorrow, love, anxiety, some of the things that, you know, obviously apply to me. But, um, but this album was a lot more out of the whole discography. This one is very political, a lot of um, metaphor and a lot of social commentary basically from Ronnie. This was a very different lyrically and kind of musically, but definitely a different project. This one is a gatefold. So this is one of those times I am going to go ahead and remove the shrink wrap plus it looks like it got a little bit of a rub there on the, it looks like it's just on the surface. So two birds with one stone. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not that this is a transparent blue here and black here. So kind of half and half. Interesting design that there. I love that. I think it's kind of neat. Classic black over here, transparent blue over here. given the circumstance I'll set it out there pull a few of these out
restricted from coming in contact with the paper <laughs> or staying stored, I should say, in the paper. Because eventually all paper, you know, there's a certain acid used to press it. And when you leave your records in paper sleeves like this, even thick, heavy quality feeling ones like this, there's still a certain acid in the paper that over some time will eventually start to kind of seep out. That's what these types of sleeves exist for. stack days of black this this creature I don't know what it's supposed to be at first I thought you know back back when that that was the head of the creature but um, seeing the final I think you know that's actually holding this whatever on top of his head this creature here so it's just an interesting design all the way around it's Ronnie and his wife Moshka side a days of black loneliness vixen in disguise leave me be the rain will wash away set you free Side B, I couldn't save you. What goes around, I need to be alone. Loud and clear, one of their hit singles, your kiss, and La La Land. And again, limited edition of 500 copies. This record is not a gatefold of sorts. So as such, I will probably attempt to leave the shrink wrap on this. This one looks like. Oh man. Kind of a orange and then burnt orange appearance there. This is really heavy. Like really heavy. I'm interested in what the weight of this actually is. So yeah.
<laughs> just realized I almost forgot an important element there. on the agenda or in the stack here hidden faces this album cover is so cool I don't know exactly what it is or why but it's, I love this one that's why I have that printed patch of it on my vest actually I just always dug this album cover one um, it's a little unusual to me that um, some of the singles from this the remixes that are on the singles rather are uh, on a different vinyl in this collection here this version of Hidden Faces is the basically the original track release set none of the bonus tracks that are on the CDs or any of that are here this is like the this is exactly like the Test Records original release. Anyway, side A, Out of the Rain, This World. Really need to listen to that one, guys. Going Round, 97 mix, The Child and Me, Wailing Wall, It's All a Lie. Then, side B, Sing a Song, Hypocrite, Special Friends. Piano Peace, Your Vice, November, which is a very beautiful instrumental track, just pure instrumental, um, and the story ends. I should mention that the first two records I've opened so far were separate from the fan bundle, so now we're officially getting into the fan bundle. Another one, I think I'll try to keep the shrink wrap. separate and all. Those were probably not going to be colored vinyls, but hard to tell.
considering how it's more more often that I feel dark and sorrow and just unhappy with my life compared to feeling happy about it right now. I am just so, so full of just good feelings. <laughs> I'm really, really glad to have these. video without some tapping right. Come on. <laughs> Look how sharp and gorgeous this is. It's just wonderful. Just wonderful. limited edition stickers on the actual sleeve instead of the plastic. That album actually stops because these so the last on side C flatlands and then the following are um, singles and mixes from the hidden faces album so the fact they're in this bundle is kind of strange to me but anyway this world clan of Zymox remix sing a song not for the money in this world John A. Rivers remix so these five songs are on the uh, CD uh, or excuse me from Flatlands sing a song and not for the money are on the Metropolis CD release of Hidden Faces that I own um, Flatlands is the last track on it but this this world this remix and the Johnny Rivers remix are not so I don't know what's up with that it's interesting but anyway let's crack this open this like the rest is not a gatefold so I'm gonna leave the shrink wrap on
vinyls, that's for sure. And I've noticed that there's the dust and stuff on some of these. So you'll have that, I guess. So far, so good. Always worry, especially, you know, having to import from so far overseas. I might find something damaged or whatnot. So far, so good. Subsequent pleasures. Some considerate, some um, considerate Zymox's first album. I don't. Uh, because it's the subsequent pleasures was a collection of demos and things before the first Clan of Zymox debut release on 4AD Records, and this material, the original subsequent pleasures had less songs on it and was not remastered. The version that has this album cover was where they took all the old demos and stuff and remastered them, so the audio is at least a lot better. And some of these songs went on to be remade, um, sometimes more than once. In the case of this one, I'm not sure what I'm going to come across yet. But anyway, side A, going round, that's the original. Muscovet Mosquito, which uh, an updated version of that they still perform to this day. Strange nine to nine, call it weird. Side B, abysmal thoughts. A day, that's the original version. Stumble and fall, no words. Side C, stranger. Equal ways, seventh time. This version of stranger, again being the original, is a little different from the one that was made famous on their first album. Um, definitely graced a few dance floors in its time and Stranger an updated version of that is still to this day what Zymox opens up their live shows with now on side D I don't know what these are going to be in this release another version of Stranger Louise Medusa in Summertime so I don't know what mixes these might be because I don't think these are not on any of my CD copies of Subsequent Pleasures but again bonuses are bonuses so let's crack this one open thinking of it too, this version of Medusa that's on here. I'm curious to hear which one it is or what mix it might be. But the very first Zymox album. And then Medusa are two classics that I do not currently own on vinyl, obviously. I wish I did. I'm sort of surprised. That Medusa is not part of the fan bundle somehow. Because it's considered to be, by some, to be Zymox's best album. 
Me personally, I like it. It's a great album. Not my favorite album, though. I think generally when I find myself in the mood for, like, Bauhaus and Sisters of Mercy, Fields of the Nephilim, times like that, like that particular musical mood, if you will, definitely a time I would enjoy um, listening to Medusa. excited about. Again, I'm not, I don't know that I can ever be 100% certain of anything, but I am reasonably certain that this is probably my personal favorite Clan of Zymox album. Notes from the Underground. This is an awesome, awesome album. of 500 copies. The artwork is just magnificent here too. So, a song that I feel personally describes me um, because of, you see, this song, Ronnie, goes, at least as I interpret it, and I could be very wrong, but kind of goes from a third person describing you to first person kind of challenging and hearing common everyday cliches that people tend to use, and then ends again in third person. I mean, um, ends in first person. It's, it's the way I hear the word play in this back and forth is interesting. But it, anyway, the very first like couple of times I had ever heard this song back in the day too, I it made me cry because it touched me. I felt it. Anyway, side A, innocent. I want you now internal darkness at your mercy side B anguish number one into her web the bittersweet uh, the remix of this from one of the fellows from Frontline Assembly that's on the remixes from the Underground album freaking banger I love it side C liberty Something wrong, Mysterium, the same dream, and that is pretty much the album. The bonus stuff, Liberty, Greg Rule mix, Innocent on side D, Defiled remix by Assemblage 23, At Your Mercy and Strict Confidence remix, Anguish remix by Front 242. And the same dream, Perfidious Words Remix. So, some extra bonus mixes in the album here. That's nice. I wish 
so Ronnie would have further explored some of the sounds on this album, um, the more industrial nature of this particular Zymox album could be why it's one of my favorites. Spider on the Wall, which is another vinyl I really wish I had in this bunch, because uh, Spider on the Wall is another one that's very high on my list of essential Zymox albums, but this Spider, this Black Widow, is something similar to what they used on the front cover. stuck with the Black Widow for all of the labels. worth it to me but having all these is great this this is great farewell this album is incredibly dark in nature in my opinion edition 500 copies but um lyrically it's a pretty dark album in my opinion however this the musically this one was different um this one is i don't know i'd almost say a little more techno oriented um it still has that kind of melancholy undertone and touch in the music that ronnie always uses but this album was definitely a 
different departure in sound, a different change in sound. Um, like I said, sort of maybe techno isn't quite the right genre to, to describe it with, but it's generally something like that. <laughs> Very electronic oriented, not much guitar to be found on here like some of the other stuff, but. Side A, we have the title track, Farewell, which is a dark, very dark song. Um, cold, damp day, there's no tomorrow, and dark mood. Side B, one more time, and two extremes, it's not enough, and courageous. Side C, losing my head, and skin deep. As far as I know, that's the extent of the actual album. There's, after that, a whole gang of bonus stuff here. Courageous, bonus. The second time, bonus. It's obviously another remix. Side D is all remixes of There's No Tomorrow. The Frozen Autumn remix. That's almost eight minutes. So uh, I'm curious if that was intended for DJ use or something. Um, Fading Colors Remix, what's this, Run Level Zero Remix, Original Club Version, and Radio Edit Version. Far as I know, I have never heard any of these remixes of There's No Tomorrow. I don't have a single of this, I don't, so that's going to be a whole bunch of new material for me to check out. paper sleeve that they are using is thick and heavy. You can see the, maybe you can't, the gloss on it, so on. That's fine for a while, but 10 years from now, assuming I'm even alive at that point, that's where there might be some damage starting to ooze out from the acid that is used to press this pulp, and I don't want that touching my records.
is an excellent, excellent Zymox album. And I'm very fond of Breaking Point. This is a good album. And it's got some um, extra remixes on here that well, we'll get to that. Anyway, on Breaking Point, Side A, Weekend My Knees, Calling You Out, She's Dangerous, Eternally, We Never Learn. Side B, Be My Friend, Garna, Garna or Sinara, sorry, um, Pandora's Box, Under the Wire, Side C, What's Going On, Weaken My Knees, a Zoic remix. Oh, what's going on is where the album ends. And then this one, Banger. Michelle, the Deep in Pain remix by Destroyed. So Michelle is an older, um, it's an older Zymox tune, much older. And this remix is 100% like dance worthy EBM industrial, like proper EBM industrial. It bangs. Big fan of that one. Michelle, Deep in Pain remix. Worth checking out if you like that type of sound. And side D, Weak in My Knees, Dimitri and I remix. Michelle, re recorded version. Weak in My Knees, Grendel remix. So a couple of these mixes I'm not familiar with. That Michelle mix, I definitely am. That's exciting to have. Crack this one open. you want one last look at these so you know what I prefer to order up online and put my records in.
Cymox logo, turntable, slip mat. Again, um, I think I mentioned this, I don't know, um, I may end up using this for something else. <laughs> end up sewing it to something or displaying it in some other way than on my turntable. Um, the way they printed this, I don't know if that's just silk screen or what, it's thick. It kind of feels almost like a, a rubber of sorts. So very, very good and heavy duty quality. I mean as far as the printing goes, the slip mat itself is pretty standard. And the last part of the bundle kind of a thicker paper of sorts. to certify that you are now the owner of the vinyl bundle of Clan of Zymox. We wish to express our sincere gratitude for your support. I wish to express my sincere gratitude for you helping me not do something stupid once or twice in my life, huh? <laughs> So there we have it. That is the entirety of the fan bundle plus the very first two I opened up were a separate order. But very, very important music to me that I now have on vinyl. And to go along with that, I want to show you one other thing while I got this going on. printed up a very large poster version of this that's framed and hanging on my wall. This was um, 2023 in March. I got to meet Ronnie Moorings in person. And he signed the Clan of Zymox back patch that's on my winter coat. He was very surprisingly friendly. Um, you know, at first he shook my hand and we talked for a while. And once I told him a little bit of my story, the man even hugged me, which really surprised me. And my heart just melted. I mean, I was so shocked and taken aback. Um, but uh, yeah, and then it wasn't just a quick, hey, how you doing? Thanks for thanks for coming to the show. Bye. Like, I got to sit and chat with him for like a good 10 minutes. I mean, he was very engaging, and I just really, really appreciate that. I just, that, you know, meant the world to me at the time. But, yeah, to go with that then. This is, again, my heavy winter coat. This is not my best, but... This is what you saw in the picture getting signed. And Ronnie signed it right there. you think that 
Those are just gorgeous, so gorgeous, and I'm very glad to have them. So, if that was what you wanted to see, then you're, you know, free to leave. If you want to hang out for another moment, then I will explain something. Um, I, I have no problem talking about this. I know I talked about it in my last video. I've talked about it in just a couple of my other ones because, for some reason, I just don't have any inhibition on this. But, um, yes, I've been sort of suicidal-ish in my time. I've never actually taken that last step, even though I've thought about it, even planned it out in some younger years, and really. Th but never actually, I don't know why I had to be born this way, why I have to be weird, unattractive, awkward, um, publicly, socially awkward, um, why I never had the ability to flirt and really do too well with uh, dating and relationships or anything, and why, um, why I have a natural sense of depression and sorrow and, and anxiety that's very strong for no reason sometimes. Um, I've been that way my whole life. I remember, you know, even when I was a little kid, my mom would sometimes be barking at me about, uh, you know, stop being so negative and all that. Um, when I would have a negative reply to something or a point of view of something, would you know, and, um, Anyway, yeah, between just, uh, you know, and I'm a, I'm a, I, I am absolutely a loser. I mean, not like a, um, you know, I've never robbed anybody or hurt anybody or anything, really. Uh, but, I mean, I work in a warehouse, so at least I'm doing something, I guess. But, like, I never, I tried going to school once and just that didn't work. Sorry, my plastic sleeves are sliding away there. Anyways, um, you know, I've never had, like, a lot of money, never been really successful, never traveled, never, you know, and then, um, it's just been a very lonely and sort of poor-ish life. Um, and now that I'm older, you know, I have, um, you know, I have some health problems and things that are kind of significant and just... What a way to live, you know, such a, a lonely life and then never really accomplishing or achieving anything worthy, like noteworthy, um, you know, never owned a house, uh, just such a, there's so much I could tell you, just so much, and it's just kind of sad, you know, and then take the kid that was the way he was, always worried and always something wrong and, and then so negative and so, you know, lacking in that spark of life. I mean, I was definitely a strange kid <laughs> in that regard. And here we are now. And I can honestly say that my longest running biggest savior has been music. I lived and breathed music, you know, even as little kid I was obsessed with music to a point where I was far more interested in expanding the size of my cassette collection than I was getting new toys and things and so it's been very important and I would uh, you know go and absorb full albums front to back rather than listen to just one or two songs you know I would listen to tapes from front to back rarely would I fast forward or rewind like you know, my position, I, it's just been my thing, so as far as, you know, just how deep my depression and loneliness and just natural things that are me goes, music has been the savior, you know, it's been the thing that's kind of, at, it's not perfect, it's not like it just suddenly makes everything okay, um, but it's very, excuse me, very helpful at times, and, um, you know, definitely among the best friends I've ever had, and it's sort of, you know, I've heard the argument that, you know, the, the greatest substance of your life is the creations of other people. You have no originality. You have nothing to offer, and so on and so forth, and that's kind of correct. I guess I don't 
but um, all of that's correct. But anyways, yeah, I guess, you know, music I've been obsessed with, like totally a hardcore loyal fan and collector. There's many different groups I could name in many different places, but the two that have been a part of keeping me from maybe taking that final step or not, or at least kind of ease the feelings of wanting to not exist. I would definitely give that to typo negative and equally so, or I would say possibly more so would be clan of Zymox and, uh, Ronnie Moorings. So that's the story in a, in a, in a nutshell, I guess. And it's, um, you know, I, I love vinyl. I, uh, collected music my whole life anyways but I do love collecting records and taking care of them and just treasuring them and um, you know as big as my vinyl collection is now at least what I consider to be big I mean no I don't have a room full with shelves and shelves like DJs and stuff or, or people that have been collecting for you know as long as I've been alive but I um, I think I have 200 something vinyls total total in my whole collection at this point and I don't make it a particular mission to go out and build up my vinyl collection I just sort of when I come across something especially that I, I really want to have I'll get it you know or, or try if I'm able um, handful of things here and there I've went and tracked down online because I really had to have them but this I mean, I think of like my KMFDM collection, my Public Enemy vinyls, and then Lucas, Prime Minister Pete Nice, Skinny Puppy, Ministry, Front 242, Frontline Assembly. But there's Black Flag. There's so much, just so much different stuff that I am very, very thrilled and happy that I own on vinyl. But. I guess without a doubt the crowning pieces in my collection definitely include this big stack of Clan of Zymox vinyls I have just acquired they're so special to me and um, it's really great to have them anyways thank you to whomever hung out and possibly enjoyed the tour and um you know, if you are a Zymox fan, then I hope you get your chance to acquire these if you have not. Because without a doubt, there's going to be always that, uh, you know, one or two people that throw the stuff on eBay. And they'll probably sell each of these records individually rather than as a bundle for serious markup. Because that's, that's people for you. But um, anyways, if you're a collector that's wishing you had these, I hope you get your chance. They're, they're wonderful, and as, you can, as you've seen, they are immaculate, just very nice. And um, if you, you know, couldn't possibly care less and just came for some ASMR or don't know who Clan of Zymox is, um, do some research. You might like them if you'd like, you know, kind of a gothic dark wave industrial sort of music um, I can't say that I just absolutely love and adore every single song that Zymox wrote but a majority of them very much touch me and very much resonate or at least connect in some manner that so yeah anyway hey this is me the underconfident human signing out Thanks again for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Have a good one.